Welcome to the Saligo Image Cytometer video demo series. Today we'll be discussing three-dimensional tumor spheroid-based functional assays, specifically the invasion into major gel. The Saligo Cytometer has been used to perform multiple 3D spheroid-based functional assays. This video describes a three-dimensional invasion into major gel as a model for tumor invasion. Let me show you how this experiment was conducted. Glioblastoma U87MG cells were first seeded at 1,000 cells per well in a U-bottom 96-well ultra-low attachment plate. Series then were allowed to form over the next four days. On day four, U87MG spheroids were embedded into major gel with serially diluted 17-AAG drug treatment, or DMSO vehicle control. Six replicates were prepared for each condition. This plate is now ready to be imaged. Automated image acquisition and quantification was carried out throughout the entire experiment. Imaging was done before and right after major gel embedding, which we considered time point zero of the experiment. It was then imaged again at 24 hours, 48 hours, and 72 hours after start of the drug treatment. Here we can see how a typical scan result after image analysis looks like. The entire plate is shown with the thumbnail pictures of each imaged well. This plate represents time zero of the drug treatment. Let's look at the vehicle control well, D10. The blue outline indicates the area occupied by the spheroid identified by the Saliga software. The green fill color is another visual representation of the counted spheroids. Next, let us look at the same spheroid 48 hours later. The area occupied by the invading cell is much larger compared to the time zero. In other wells on this plate, the spheroids were treated with different concentrations of 17 AAG. You can navigate between any well on the plate to quickly examine the differences between the experimental conditions. In this well, we see that the invasion into major gel is inhibited by 2.5 micromolar drug treatment. As you can see, we can go across the drug treatment concentrations to look at different wells at different conditions and get a quick global view and understanding of the conducted experiment and then compare it to the control. By exporting the data to Excel, we can look at the results acquired for the entire plate. Using the Confluence application, the software calculates the percent of the area covered by the spheroid to the total scanned area. Invasion was normalized to time zero. Graphs and tables can be easily created to reflect the data gathered from the experiment. When we compare the area covered by the control spheroid or by the jug treated spheroid, we observe that the invasion of U87 MG cells is inhibited by 17 AAG in a dose dependent manner. Other 3D functional assays that have been performed on the Saligo include migration on extracellular matrix, tumor spheroid viability, and tumor spheroid embryo body confrontation cultures. Thank you for listening to the Saligo Image Cytometer video demo series on 3D tumor spheroids. If you wish to learn more about this assay or any other assay, please visit us at nextlom.com or contact us to speak with one of our field application scientists.